Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install NetBeans IDE on your Windows 10 operating system with Java JDK. So in order to install NetBeans IDE, you need to have Java JDK installed on your Windows operating system. So first of all, we are going to see how we can download and install Java JDK. And then in the next step, we are going to see how to install NetBeans on our Windows operating system. So first of all, we are going to check whether Java is already installed on our system or not. So just right click on your Windows icon here and then click on command prompt. And here you just need to type a simple command which is Java C command. So if this Java C command is going to give you this kind of response which says Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command, then most probably Java JDK is not, not installed on your Windows 10 operating system. So we are going to install it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK. Now you will see different versions of Java JDKs in the search results. So right now I'm seeing Java SE Development Kit 8 which is uh, most popular right now. But when I scroll down, uh, I can also see Java SE Development Kit 12. So this is the latest version of Java JDK at the time of making this video. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, download and install Java SE Development Kit 12. So I'm going to click on this link and you will see this oracle.com website will open and you will see uh, first of all this agreement so I'm going to just say I accept all cookies and now you can see uh, this version on this web page again which is Java SE Development Kit 12 uh, downloads. So first of all you just need to scroll down and then click on the accept license agreement uh, radio button and then depending upon your operating system you can choose the binaries or the executable file so right now we are on windows 10 so we are going to choose uh, the second last option which says jdk 12 windows uh, hyphen x 64 underscore bin dot exe file so we are going to download this exe file and this exe file is about 159 megabyte so you just need to wait for some time to uh, download this exe file so once this executable file is downloaded you just need to click on this executable file and then uh, i'm going to minimize the browser and first of all you will see this kind of uh, warning i'm going to just click on yes and now the installation wizard has been started so i'm going to just click on uh, next and then uh, if you don't have the good reason to change uh, the location where this Java JDK uh, will be installed on your operating system, just leave everything as default. So this will be the location where your Java development kit will be installed. So we are going to go to this location after installing Java JDK. For now, I'm going to just click on the next button, which is going to start the installation of Java development kit. So just wait for some time until this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. And after a few seconds, you will uh, see this message which says Java development kit is successfully installed. So you can just close this window. And now we are going to go to the location where uh, this Java development kit is installed. So go to your uh, C drive and here go to program files. And you will be able to see this new Java folder, which is uh, created by this installer for you. So I'm going to click inside this and you can see uh, this folder, which is a JDK folder. So now we are going to uh, just set up our environment variables. So our command prompt is going to recognize the Java C command or any other Java related command. So what you need to do is you just need to go inside this uh, bin folder and then copy uh, this path from here and then right click on your windows icon once again and then click on system and once this system window is open just click on advanced system settings and then environment variables and here you can see uh, two kind of uh, environment variables one is user variables for uh, the user and other is the 
system variables. So we are going to create the system variables. So first of all, just click on this uh, path system variable. So here on the left hand side, you will be able to see path. So just double click on it or just click on the edit button. And then you can uh, just click on new and then paste this path until bin folder, which you have copied. So once you are finished with uh, this environment variable, then click on OK. And now we are going to create a new environment variable, which is called Java home environment variable, which is uh, required by some IDEs and other uh, Java related uh, programs uh, to recognize your Java JDK directory. So here we are going to just click on new and then we are going to create a Java home variable. So just type Java underscore home all in capital. And then here as the variable value, we are going to go to the folder once again, where we have uh, our Java JDK folder. So this time just go to uh, this folder under Java folder, which is the JDK uh, folder. And then you don't need to go inside the bin folder now. You just need to go until the JDK folder. So just copy this path and then paste this path as the variable value for the Java underscore home environment variable. So I'm going to just click on OK. And you can see this uh, new environment variable is created here. So now once you are done with the setting of the environment variables, we are going to just click OK and then OK, and I'm going to close this uh, system window. So now Java is installed on your Windows operating system, and we are going to check once again if uh, it works or not. So once again, right click on the Windows icon, and then once again, open your command prompt. And once again, we are going to give this command Java C, and first of all, let's see the version. So I'm going to just say Java C hyphen version, and then press Enter which is going to give me the version of Java C, which is installed on my system, which is at this time Java C 12.0.2, because we have installed Java JDK 12 on our Windows operating system. Also, if you uh, want to know the Java version, you just need to type Java hyphen hyphen version and then press enter, which is going to give you the version of Java installed on your system. Also, once you have installed this Java JDK, the Java SE runtime environment will be automatically installed. So you don't need to do anything extra for this. And here is the Java hotspot 64-bit server virtual machine. Now, once you are finished with the installation of Java JDK on your Windows 10 operating system, we are ready to install NetBeans IDE on our Windows operating system. So once again, go to your favorite browser and search for NetBeans. And the first link which will appear here will be from netbeans.org. So I'm going to click on this link. And once this website is open straight away, you will see this download button. So I'm going to click on this download button and it's going to redirect me to this URL, which is netbeans.apache.org forward slash downloads. Now on this apache.org page, you can see there are two versions of NetBeans available at the time of making this video. One is Apache NetBeans 11 feature update. And the second is the Apache NetBeans 11 LTS version. LTS means long term support, right? So we are going to download and install the LTS version. And I will also recommend you to download this LTS version because it has a long term support. So I'm going to click on this uh, download button under LTS and you will be redirected to this page which says downloading Apache NetBeans 11. Just scroll down a little and you will be able to see uh, three options here. One is source other is binary and next is Java doc. So just click on incubating NetBeans 11 bin.zip file. So I'm going to click on this uh, zip file. And then at last, you just need to click on this mirror link, which is going to actually start your download of this zip file. This file is around 303 megabytes. So it's going to take some time to download. So I'm going to cancel this download because I have already downloaded this file to save the time. So I'm going to directly go to the folder 
where I have downloaded this file. So this is going to look like this, which is a zip file. So first of all, you need to extract it. So I'm going to just right click and then I'm going to just say extract all, which is going to extract this file into the current folder itself. So now this zip file is extracted in the form of this folder. So I'm going to go inside this folder and you will be able to see this NetBeans folder. And once you go inside this NetBeans folder, all the uh, folders and files related to NetBeans are present here. So the next step is to just uh, go inside this NetBeans uh, folder and just cut this uh, NetBeans folder from here. So once again, I'm going to uh, go to uh, this extracted folder where I have this NetBeans folder. So I'm going to just uh, cut this NetBeans folder and then uh, I'm going to paste this folder to my C drive. So I'm going to go to my C drive and then paste this NetBeans folder into my C drive. Now I'm going to go inside this NetBeans folder and then I'm going to go inside the bin folder and you will be able to see uh, two executable file here. One is NetBeans and other is NetBeans 64. So we need to run this executable file which says NetBeans uh, 64 which is for 64-bit operating system. So I'm going to just double click on it and I'm going to just click on run and I'm going to minimize uh, this folder and you can see uh, the NetBeans IDE is starting and now as you can see here this NetBeans IDE has been opened on my Windows 10 operating system. So the first thing before doing anything to the NetBeans IDE, I'm going to just right click on this NetBeans icon. So I'm going to just right click and then pin it to my taskbar. And also I'm going to go to the folder and then right click on this NetBeans 64-bit executable file. And I'm going to just click on create shortcut, which is going to create the shortcut for this NetBeans executable file which I'm going to move to the desktop. If you want, you can just move this icon to the desktop, which is the shortcut for opening this NetBeans IDE. So that's done. Let's create a Java project using this NetBeans IDE. So now let's create a very simple Java project here. So I'm going to click on uh, the file option here and then click on a new project. And here you will be able to see a few options uh, where it says uh, Java with Maven, Java with Gradle and uh, other options uh, also are available here. So what we want to do is we want to create a simple Java application. So I'm going to choose Java with Ant here and then I'm going to just choose Java application and then click uh, next. And uh, you can see uh, the name of the Java application is uh, displayed here. You can change the project name for example, uh, hello world, and then I'm going to click on finish. And you can see uh, this simple uh, Java application has been created with the main method because I have checked the main method. So let's uh, print something. So I'm going to just uh, print uh, system.out.print hello world, and we are going to build this program. So I'm going to just click on uh, run option here on the top bar and then I'm going to just say build project which is going to build our project and if any problem exists it's going to tell us uh, what problem is there and if our program is compiled successfully it's not going to give us any problem so now we will be able to run our project so I'm going to once again go to the run option and now click on uh, this uh, green uh, uh, triangle option which says run project which is the hello world project and once you click on run uh, option you will be able to see hello world is printed here because this is the system.out.print method if you write here print ln which is for print line and then build and run your project once again so build the project and then run the project once again it's going to print hello world and then this will be displayed on the next line. So all things are working fine on our NetBeans IDE. Our Java is configured successfully and it's working. So this is how you can download and install NetBeans 
on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video.